uh, hello guys uh, the next lesson how to install QMSQ system uh, first of all uh, go to website qsystem.info there is a button uh, for downloading uh, zip archive or you can go to google drive google drive uh, there are um, many materials uh, for Q system. For example, uh, in Q system folder, there are um, uh, installation packages uh, for different version. The current version is uh, one five two. Yeah, you can download it di directly from a Google Drive or just click uh, button uh, for downloading on uh, my page okay now you have um, a zip archive just unzip it okay there are some files first of all you can read this one this is a set of steps how to install it this is instruction how to do it it's very helpful guys use it please okay just uh, run installation language okay what is uh, installation package it is just unzipping nothing more and it is a reason why you can uh, spread the um, Q system uh, like um, just a folder oh, next 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 again uh, please choose uh, the folder uh, but not uh, system folder okay select uh, components uh, you can select all components here it is a set of parameters uh, after installation you can change uh, this these parameters as you want uh, absolutely uh, not problem if you do not understand how to do it uh, right now but for first installation it's enough for local running okay that's all please no shortcut okay done what we have now we have a folders so there are files uh, for system only this folder only these files nothing more okay uh, what you need for running Q system first of all it is a Java 8 of course and Java FX remember it please especially about Java FX uh, because uh, in some version of Linux can be problem with JavaFX problem problems like um, video not work. Yeah. Uh, next one. What you need? You need database. Uh, Q system can works with uh, MySQL and H2 database. H2 is built-in database and uh, H2 is default database and you can uh, run right now this H2 uh, how to check, check uh, your installation uh, if every, everything is ok uh, then uh, you can run administration application start admin dot bot if it is yeah next yeah everything is okay because application of administration can can be run and downloaded all information from database 
how you can see h2 is the current database for us yeah close it please <coughs> everything uh, what you need for database you can find in a folder db what is this uh-huh this one is a h2 database uh, file all data here and you can find different scripts for for creating database for example if you need a, a mysql database you can use uh, mysql workbench <coughs> for running script like this this is mysql workbench of course be sure uh, your mysql database uh, is using utf8 as a chart set yeah open your script uh, and it means uh, English language for some data no comment some data just run it and wait that's all uh, that script will be drop uh, existing database and uh, recreate it create uh, again all tables uh, insert all data in, in the tables yeah Every, everything is okay next one how to set information about database database for QMSQ system look at um, um, where is our bot file for setting it is uh, this one ADM dbcom run it what you can see you can see uh, a list of different databases this one built-in database and this one for my SQL just check connection yeah connection is okay check as main connection save it yeah this one we have uh, as a main and current and save try, try to start admin yeah it's running it's okay you can see uh, connection to mysql database and here you can see what you can see uh, you can see uh, some information yep it's enough for now uh, and i guess it's enough in uh, information uh, how to start installation how to start forking this queue system uh, and and one once more about uh, parameters which you can see during installation just open bot file just open Ed edited and you can see uh, some parameters here uh, that parameters uh, you saw in during installation uh, this th that's all uh, nothing more you can change it uh, and set what you need okay thank you again see you